So I've been using Apple's new AirPods for a few days now, and I have to say, I'm not that impressed with them. These are Bluetooth headphones, just like any other normal Bluetooth wireless headsets. But what's special about them is Apple has a new chip inside called the W1 that facilitates pairing to your device. So if you're running iOS 10 on your iPhone, all you do is flip open the case that stores the AirPods and it automatically pairs. And that's so much better than poking through settings, finding the Bluetooth option, and selecting the pair of earphones that you wanna pair. As for sound quality, they sound fine. They're just about the same sound quality as the wired earbuds that already come with the iPhone. So if you like that sound quality and you've been using them for a while, you're not gonna notice much of a difference. At the same time, you're spending $159 on a pair of headphones. You expect them to sound a little bit better. As for design and comfort, they feel just like the normal earbuds that come with the iPhone, except just without the wires. Uh, they fit nicely in your head, you can jostle them around, you can run with them, and they're not gonna fall out. They're pretty snug in your ears. But I'm not crazy about the design. It looks like they just snipped off the wire from the wired earbuds, and it looks like you're wearing some goofy white plastic earrings. The reason why it has that dangly part in the bottom is each AirPod has a microphone on the bottom, which you use for taking phone calls or talking to Siri. Another thing I like about the AirPods is that Siri is built right in. So with a quick double tap on the side, it activates Siri and you can do all the normal things you're used to doing with Siri. But that also leads me to my biggest problem with the AirPods, and that's control. So if you've been using the wired earbuds with the iPhone for the last few years, you're used to using that little dongle on the side to switch tracks or raise the volume. With the AirPods, you have to rely on Siri for everything. That means if you're listening to music and you want to raise or lower the volume, you have to double tap to activate Siri, which pauses your music and then you tell her to uh, raise or lower the volume. And so that's a really big problem. Siri is great for a lot of things like reading your text messages and checking the news and weather, but when it comes to controlling your music through the AirPods, it's not that great. You can't switch tracks, change the volume without interrupting your music. Instead, it forces you to take out your iPhone and do everything manually on the screen. So for $159, I was expecting a lot more out of the AirPods. Usually in this price point, you get headphones that sound a lot better and can do a lot more. And the control is a really big issue. It's very annoying to use Siri to control everything while pausing your music in the process. Right now, there are a lot of better wireless headphone options. In fact, Apple-owned Beats are coming out with some new headphones that look very enticing that also use the same new wireless standard and Bluetooth pairing. And those might be worth taking a better look at uh, than the AirPods.